одно, другое, третье. Но приходит Иисус, понимаете, я так рад, что Он пришел в нашу жизнь, и Он начинает говорить, не согрешил ни Он, ни родители Его, но это для того, чтобы на Нем или на Ней явились дела Божии. А я дам фору этому дьяволу. Я дам фору в этом все. Да, пусть он там будет. Пусть он там это самое. Но я приду, я найду. And I'll give the head start to the devil. And, I, and even though the devil will do his work at first, I'll come out and pull him out of the system. I won't forget about him or her. Remember uh, about, like, about Batmias. He had vision, but he had lost the vision. Or how John Ryan, remember, we remember that story. As the prophet was telling, he, wa he had that sight before, but something happened. So whether, whether, this, whether this was an, an illness or something else, he lost his sight. And he, he had, he, he had a, a, a similar story, you know, one anointing, spit on the ground, and you know, all the Jews are looking, oh my goodness, how, how, where's the hygiene? You never do that in our church. And he was doing that deliberately, so that unbelievers would be shed away. <laughs> Spits like that, you know, takes the dirt, and you know, the... Something was coming out out of the creator. Oh my goodness, saliva! Oh, so disgusting. And he's taking that. He's, 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 he takes he eats his own creation, combines it with earth, which is a mystery, you know, and starts rubbing it in. But this is not the case. But remember the story of Bartimaeus. He asks, he asks him, "What do you see?" I see people as trees. Oh, glory to God. This is Psalm, this is the first Psalm, Psalm number one. That's so good already, and the next time he did it, what was next? He started seeing. He had seen who had opened his eyes, and who was he, and here... Take a look at how beautifully this image is being revealed over here. And he shows that he is supposed to do these works because somebody had sent him. John 9, verse 4. You see, this is connected with the one who was sent. Jesus shows that somebody had sent him to do the works. Don't miss it. Because this is connected. This is the key. It says, and he says, what the night cometh when no man can work. And he says, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But after that, remember, he says that you are the light in the world. Verse 6, when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. You see, when you are blind, and you want to be healed, you won't be, you know, so, so profound. You see, you won't be so picky about things because, you know, brother, what's that smell? You know, with people who don't have one sense, the other sense becomes enhanced. Take a look at what's happening over here. He had to believe. Is that right? He had met, he had heard. Elijah that presented the Son of Man being expressed on the earth. And he had believed that and now he's meeting him. But he doesn't see anything yet. And God wants for his eyes to be open. God wants for our eyes to be open. Are the eyes of our understanding. I'm not talking about the five senses now, friends. Brother, uh, brother Andre was starting with the, with that song. We, with the only by faith, only by faith, they can look on the invisible, in the invisible world. And all the, all those song songs we were we were singing, they were telling about those things. Glory to God for this anointed worship. And here, he starts anointing his eyes, and you know, 
when we look into the, in, the, in the message how Brother Branham was saying, you know, remember we were preaching about that before. See, this is the, the one who was blind from birth, and those who are blind from birth, if you had seen those people, they don't even have, they don't even have the eyeballs. They, as if they, they have, they have, you know, holes over there. And the first things he does, he starts creating. And through that, and through that spill, the eyeballs had appeared in his eyes. He already feels that. You know, maybe from that first action or first anointing, which, which was, was rubbed into you and me, the heart starts burning, as with that image. But now what you need is... God specifically wants to tell you something, not just you know, go somewhere and just wash thyself and you shall be clean. No, it doesn't say it like that. God is, if God is saying something, he's saying something specifically. And now, go wash in the pool of Siloam. You want to find that pool. Where is that pool today, that pool of Siloam? Somebody started saying something, but I didn't hear, hear that. But you need to find that. Where is that pool of Siloam? Is that right? And that young man, it was, it was, it's written over there that he was a young man. Something started happening with him. And remember how, how Branham was praying for, for, for that girl who was, who was completely blind as well. And two times, nothing happened. And then he, he starts hugging her and pushing her to, towards himself. And before that, he's as, he, he asks her, what sort of eyes do you want? Oh, brother, sister, what sort of faith is that? She said, I heard that the blue ones are very beautiful. And he starts praying. And he turns her towards the audience. And, the, and her mother fainted because the child started, 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 started shouting because she started singing. She started singing the light. From nothing became something. And here we see the same story, friends. This is our image here. Because so that we would see, because God wants to go into the pool of Siloam and and find it. Maybe it's the similar story for you as well, maybe it's similar with Jordan, but this is not a popular place. Where's the eyes somewhere out, out on the outskirts of the city? What do you mean? He's not in the center? He what? He lives next to the, st to the train station? C can the water be clean and clear over there? Maybe it's not clean. Maybe it's not clear. Jordan wasn't cl crystal clear. But if God tells you to go here, then you go. If God tells you go there, then go there. But the goal, the aim of God is that so that you could see. Not so that I heard, I heard, I heard, my heart is burning, I hear my Lord. But do you see? What do you hear? No. But you need, you need to see that which you had heard. So that the eyes would be open, so that you would say, I heard before, I used to hear. I used to hear it for two years, for three, for five, twenty, ten, to twenty-five. But now I started seeing that which I had heard for many times. I started understanding. I stopped walking and, and stumbling on my way. And when that started to happen, you go to the pool of Siloam. Oh, it's in a popular place. And he starts going. Something God had created something already. And you're moving. You, you've been pushed. Oh, excuse me. Where, where, was, where, where, was, where, 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 was, was the, was, was, the, was the bus going? I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a bus to, to the pool of Siloam. Where's that bus? Where do you need to go to the pool of Siloam? I mean, cross, you cross the road, there's another pool over there. And the water is so good there. 
Oh, is that so? Oh, oh yes, definitely, and you can sit over there, and there's music and worship, and the word sounds from there. And you already start having that battle in your mind. You mean, oh, yes, I can go there? Of course. You don't need to go to Siloam. The sent one, the messenger, the fivefold ministry. We don't really believe those sorts of things, but we do have a pool. Maybe you want to wash yourself over here? And you see, he starts because he has two opinions right there. Because he had the commission. He had met with that. He could touch it, but he doesn't see who does those things. He hears the voice. You might hear the voice. And you even have that clay made out of spittle, you know? And some, something seems, you know... And you, f you started feeling certain things. But you need to have a decision. And he says specifically, you need to go there. And God, God is testing. God is testing us. This is the time, this is the gap of waiting. And he loves doing that. And now it's up to you. I told you where to go. And I told you what to do. If you're not going there, if you, if you were, if you were convinced otherwise, then the word is not, not has nothing to do with that. If the word given you a particular, a particular order what to do, and you didn't know him yet, he isn't revealed to you. Uh, as as he's supposed to. Maybe you had heard that God had sent the prophet. Elijah. We had heard that for many years. Malachi 4, 5, 6. Because I will send. Who is he? Revelation 10, 1. I will send you Elijah the prophet. Revelation 10, 7. But now, when you need to see yourself first. To whom? From verses 8 to 11. It's, it's good to see the position. Oh, yes, this is the Lord. And this is Lord. This is the prophet. This is for him. But God had left a portion for you in that word. And he wants you to see so that you would fulfill that and express that. Live that. And he will do everything for that. This is how God is taking care of us. Of us. And you're walking and you know, you just need to keep moving forward. Keep moving until, as we had heard it, Where's the pool? Over here? I need the pool of Silum. Yes, it's here. You know, bam. No, no, you need, you need, you, there's, 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 there's still an elevator. You, need, you know, you need to, to still go there. You know, people, uh, everybody may be telling their own story, but you need to, if you see yourself here, you need to find the pool of Silum. Because he's even calling it by name and reveals the, the meaning of that. The sent one will be there. It's not someone will be there. But the sight will open from that. There's not going to be any imposters there or false anointed ones. Over there, you'll see the sent one. Ephesians chapter 4 can be placed there by God. And God had put, had sent for the church those five false, so that the second anointing, so that you would find that pool of Siloam in between the sixth and the seventh trumpet, be where the Revelation 10 stands and that washing is taking place. And how many times? Until you see, until you see yourself in the Word. 
It's good to see the prophet in the world, but you need to see yourself in the world, your characteristics. That's when you'll be able to stand. And that's when something will start taking place. Hallelujah, friends. Oh, I like it. Verse 7. And said unto him, First act, go. You start going. You start going. Wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. He wasn't gone. He came back with, the, with his eyes open. He starts seeing who truly, what God, these five, five characteristics that three that three threefold min the three fold, fold mystery all those all those things all those mysteries he starts saying Christ is the revealed mystery mystery God is removing removing his 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 covering God rich in mercy verse eight the neighbors the neighbors therefore you always have the neighbors and what sort of neighbors that might be. Mr. Lusa, you have new neighbors now, right? Oh, God bless you. Oh, okay. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Oh, my goodness. He had such a position in the church. He was placed next to the to the gates, not somewhere in the in in the behind, but no, on Sunday so many people are passing by. He was he, he was begging. Of course, well, he had to give tithes after that. Some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. But he said, I am he. See, he wasn't silent. He starts reacting. He becomes... You see, he enters Revelation 10, 8 to 11. Because you will start prophesizing. His, the gift of prophecy is opening in him. He starts saying, I am he. People say, no, no, he's not. He says, I am he. And now I see. Therefore said they unto him, how were thine eyes open? He answered and said, a man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes anointed anoint, anointing you see and said unto me go to the pool of Siloam and wash did he say something something like that to anyone else of course and when you had found that you became you, you received your sight and I went and washed and I received sight they then said they unto him, where is he? He said, I know not. They asked, where's the seven seal? Show that mystery. Oh, no, no, I don't know, friends. I don't know whether that's going to be real to you or not. But to whom he had revealed, we can say, we're so thankful, Lord. We are not running away crying and weeping. We are here to, ri to raise the faith of others. He was resurrected. He was raised from history. He is alive. This is not just a story of a prophet. You know, this is not the message like a, like a story or history. I don't read it like that. I see the one I am that I am. Hallelujah, friends. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. What's the elders going to say? I mean, he was in the church. And when you are blind, you just do what others are doing. You just you just following fo following the crowd. You're just doing all the traditions, doing and this this is all dead. But God is revealed unto him and take a look at the the trials are still continuing. Because many people God was opening the eyes of many people, but when they fail to pass the trials, the darkness was coming and engulfing them again, and people were becoming blind once more. 
And it was the Sabbath day. Our God loves that peace, you know. Many people s and others s dislike it so much. And it was the Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes, even though, you know, he wasn't there. But take a look at what the scripture says. Because he and she, he says, you are, you are bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. When you were, uh, had entered that union, that's he, he that is in you. That part of the word is being fulfilled now. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, he put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed and do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, this man is not of God. No, he is not of God. That man is not of God. Because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. Others said, how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division among them. They already had that, that disagreement in between them. They said unto the blind man again, what sayest thou of him? that he hath opened thine eyes. He said, he is a prophet. Take a look. He already had seen that, that he is a prophet. He doesn't see him the way he's supposed to, but he had seen something already. And take a look at what's going on further. Verse 18, but the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight. You know, friends, are you, reading, are you reading that? God is opening the sight, and that system is so in such a blindness. When they look at that, what you see, what you speak about, they said, we don't believe that. We don't believe that you had received your sight. That you were blind in the first place. It's better that you were blind and stayed blind. You s lost such a sweet spot you had. And they're calling the parents until they call the parents of him that he had, that of him that received sight, and they asked them, saying, "Is this your son who you say was born blind? How then doth he now see? How does he now see? They don't understand that mystery." Why do you see? How are you able to see those things? They take a look like, no, there's nothing over here. I don't see anything. What are you talking about? What Jordan? What seals? What chariot? What new body? What rapture? His parents them answered them and said, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. No. What, 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 what is he? What is he? What is he pretending that he sees something? No. But you see, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be thrown out of church if you say, if, if you, if you say something wrong. You see, the, the sights are now targets uh, aimed at them, at the parents. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who hath opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age. Ask him, he shall speak for himself. These words speak his parents because they feared the Jews. We see all of that already. We see that in our days as well. They are, they are fearing for the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. What seven seal? No seven seal is opened. Separate them, put them out. Therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. See how they are blind, how they were blinded. Then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise, you know that this man is a sinner. He said, he answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know that, whereas I was blind, now I see. Hallelujah, friends. 
I can say the same thing. I don't know who says what. You know, the looking looking to blame for something, looking for whether a person is guilty or not. I don't know, but that who had given me sight, that who had shown me the way to the pool, that who had told me where to wash myself. I had went there, and I was washing myself. Well, d d d immediately, no, until somebody gets that immediately. Somebody was sitting in and waiting for three days. Somebody had to fly to the Caribbean islands. Oh, wow, that pool's so far away, and now that pool is over here, but you need to wash yourself until... You, you can't say, you know, I want, I want that clay, and I'm not the one putting the clay. The son of man is putting on the clay, and where he'll send you, then we'll wash you, oh, we'll wash you, brother. We'll wash you doing everything properly. Let's go to the sent ones. As, na as Naaman did. Because Elisha was the sent one. The king of Israel wasn't the sent one. He starts tearing up his garments. Oh, he's looking for an argument. We, we just we just healed our wounds through that diplomacy, through everything, so that there wouldn't be no war and no shootings. And again, they're coming with that, with that later. Some again, they're throwing in some sermon to clean, to 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 be cleansed. He wants to be cleansed. Then said they to him again, What did he do? What did he to thee? How opened he thine eyes? There was nothing to open in the first place. He answered them, I have told you already, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Will ye also be his disciples? He understands that he's being questioned, and he and he knows that he's not supposed to tell all the things. He's supposed to to, to to say that which has to be said, and you say that which has to be said. And that's when that's when friends is so perfect and so good. But when unbelief comes, you don't need to do that. What what you're gonna what are gonna say for yourself? Say something for yourself. And Jesus is, uh, Jesus kept silent. Pilatus was saying, you know, say something, say say something, say something in your defense. There's no point. There's no point to say anything. Sometimes it's the, it's the, it's it's the right thing to do is to keep silent. Don't give. Don't give any reason to those who are looking for one. But the sign that you are you became. You you received your sight. You start you started walking. You started discerning things. Oh, you have that and this that and pe and women are preaching, and and hairs and haircuts and all those things. We went through all that. No, no, no. But we we've passed a long way from that. But there's something else. And God wants us to fulfill His will. His will is hidden is, is in His Word, and God is opening that to those who He wills to. Then they reviled Him and said, Thou art His disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. You see, there's immediately another path which appeared. That's why we see those things. That the true ones, the elected ones, they will they will recognize the God I am. You will always see those words of God when he is creating that. The foolish virgin, she believes in that which happened and what will happen. She cannot see that which is taking place right now. And believers as well are the same class of people. That's why when everything was done with Moses, when his ministry was was fulfilled when that prophet of Exodus had, uh, had passed on they then they they recognized because when he was alive they was they were they were still bickering they were they were grasping their stones at every at every difficulty 
Why did you? Why did you? Why did you bring us away from from that land of of spices? You know. And when he had passed on, then they said, "Oh yes, definitely, he was a prophet, and we are his disciples." We know that God spake unto Moses. As for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. Of course you don't. The man answered and said unto them, Why Aaron is a marvelous thing, that ye know not from whence he is, and yet he hath opened my eyes. I was sitting for so long over there, and was begging, and I was told, Brother, just humble yourself, it's, it's fine, Everything, everyone is born that way. Yeah. That has that illness, that one, that somebody is deaf, somebody is a cripple, but whoever Jesus had met, somebody's hand, uh, hand wasn't functioning, and he was in a synagogue again, and this was again on Sabbath, on Sabbath day, and he's touching that hand, and his hand, his right hand, his, to be, it's, it's so wonderful to be that right hand, to fulfill the works of God, because uh, the 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 hand the arm points towards the, the works, but that that hand of that brother it was it had dried off. It was only it, the, in that organization only so that not not the works of God would be done, but the works of that organization. But we are his disciples. We are born and called to fulfill the Father over the will of our heavenly Father. So he says, Why here is a marvelous thing that he know not from whence he is, and yet he had opened my eyes. And he starts preaching right there. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, was it not heard that any man had op opened the eyes of one that was born blind? If this man were not of God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. And said, Glory to God! I am free! I am free! You see how he was rejoicing? And another man was put in his place, and he was, I, I see, if only, if only I could see him one more time, the one who had opened my eyes. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and when he had found him, are you rejoicing, friends? When you were cast out, you were found by him. Oh, I'm so glad to him that the word is so good and alive and working. He said unto unto him or her, Does thou believe on the Son, the Son of God? He had seen that. He knows that he is the prophet. And you see how he is revealed here. Because the devil says, If you are the Son of Man. And the devil was looking for the Son of, Man, of, of, the Son of God. They only see that they see only a sinner and the and uh, the, the pharisees when they were looking at the pharisees you were born in sins altogether filled with sins Fan you're fanatic but he finds him and what sort of words he tells him he reveals his mystery and his essence dost thou believe on the son of god on the one who was sent by god so that I would take the sins and of the whole world and yours as well that I am revealing myself the Son of God I have that anointing of that eagle of that priest of that prophet he answered and said who is he Lord that I might believe on him he wants to believe him and he says who is he who is he that seven seal I want to see that with this so that the eyes of my understanding will see that we're not preaching about five senses now friends 
that man was going deeper than those five senses. If he was relying on his five senses, he would be stuck in the very beginning. He would be stopped in the very beginning. Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. When he, he is reveal, when he is revealing himself to you, what are you doing? Oh my Lord, I'm so... No, you start worshipping him. A new song is coming to your life. Because you had seen yourself, you had seen him, he had shown you in that pool. How are you built and how are you made? How I have created you that you came from God and you need to fulfill your commission. What's the point? What the point would be if you just if Elise had told his commission, I was sent by Abraham. Is that right? The image of God. And he is the prophet. But Rebecca had to see her role. He had told her about Isaac. About his commission. But she had to enter this word to be his bride. Is that right, Brother Vladis? That's, that's what the song says. This is how, how the, the songs are being born. And when you see that, that mystery is being revealed before you and then you start moving in that oh my lord I am so thankful for that three threefold mi mystery these are the same things you can see Revelation 10 1 you can see the chief reaper who is talking with her in Revelation 10 7 but you have to see yourself in Ruth not in Ortha not in uh, not in Naomi it's gonna still it's gonna take place for the Jews but you are Ruth this is my kinsman redeemer and now my eyes are being opened and I'm so thankful but somebody had sent me in that pool in that pool friends where I am being washed when you start washing yourself and you're being washed and something is happening and you start seeing and you will return to where you had met him because he has to tell you more what we had read just here may God help us I'm coming to a conclusion we, we, we will start praying and he starts worshipping him and we started worshipping him and we started worshipping his name oh glory to our God and Jesus said for judgment I am coming to this world the day which see not might see if you had seen yourself in that yes that's me that that was me I was blind but now I see and that they which we which see might be made blind and some of the Pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him are we blind also they had heard that Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye should have no sin. But now ye say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. That's what we said, We see, we see. And he says, Then why you, you don't enter that and you don't let others enter this? This is why the sin is on those people but because we don't didn't see God came God found you God, God spit on the ground you humble yourself maybe somebody was maybe somebody was given a paper towel to you before you know oh flower scent it's so nice let me let me remove that the, the, that clay from yours no 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 I need to go to the pool of Siloam I need to find that pool where the sent one is there the sent Elijah and I need to wash myself there hmm. okay and glory to the Lord friends let's read that quote and we, we, will, we, we will start praying oh God is so good he's shown in all those different images what is happening with us 
that that cleansing is taking place and when you see that from different angles you'll you're able to to throw throw off that that stumbling sin and continue going on that ministry and be that fire be that light be that sign if only his children would accept his word are you, are you listening we were talking with the young people as well if only his children would accept his word so that he would uh, he would prove it through you I thought I thought somebody else is supposed to prove but God wants you to prove but when you accept his word God is proving that or interpreting it and it becomes expressed through you only like that he can prove his word 1965 friends you see if only if only if only he would do this if only he would do that you don't need to run ahead you don't need to make any plans just listen to what God is showing you He doesn't prove it to unbelievers. That's why that, that, that young man said, you don't, they can't be proved. They are unbelievers, but it's not to unbelievers. It's not for unbelievers. It's to him that believe. And if he can find somebody who will believe his word, that's this one, as, ne as Naaman, as Balamias, as, as you, and if he can find somebody who will believe his word he will prove his word by you oh Lord if this is that your plan you will prove your word through humble farmers shepherds or or tailors or mo moms and dads grandparents God didn't let the wise of this world to shame the, the, the wise and sometimes sickness and things happen to us that way that God can prove himself Do you remember the blind man that Jesus found? They said, who sinned, he or his father, his mother? He said, in this case, neither. But that the works of God might be made known. You see, it happened to the boy so that Jesus could be glorified. Sometimes sickness is not a curse. It's a blessing that we can stick our faith out there and call those things which are not as, uh, as though they were. God said so, and he'll prove it. So if, it, he'll prove it so if you'll just not weaken under the test. Understand? He will prove it that this is the truth. And sickness is not a curse. It's a blessing. God is changing our thoughts so that we wouldn't be afraid we wouldn't close ourselves so that that fear wouldn't bind us and something happens is that for his works? somebody is somebody ill and now God so you want to express those works on me? I believe that when you are claiming your rights, when you are standing with your feet, nobody won't, will, will be able to stumble you. Nobody will be able to tackle you if you stand on that rock. And when that man, when that young, young man was walking, he was walking from that condition of reformation. Maybe, maybe you have three or five or six seals open to you. Until you 
just open the seventh one. It won't be the fullness. You won't be able to see yourself the way you are. The word might tell. And we are talking about an album. That's why the perfect faith. You see, that's why the prophet is preaching those things. Christ is the real mystery of God. The, the perfect faith. He's showing that when the bride will see or recognize her position in the word, that which the word tells about you, then it will become an invincible army. It will be an invin it will be invincible. She won't be stopped by anything, and that's when you're going from that condition of Laodicea of darkness to enter that shalom, to enter the dawn of the new day. I need that pool of Siloam, which is there in Revelation, and what God is doing now. And and the ones who had found that they are happy. Hallelujah. We are thankful to God, friends, that He had led us out of the system, led us out of the darkness and entered and brought us into His His wonderful light where you can see. I see. I heard. But now I see. My heart was burning, but He had broke the bread. My eyes have opened. This is God. He had resurrected for you. He resurrected he was raised and now go and tell open the faith of others that I I was raised from the dead and I will meet you may God help us friends glory to his wonderful name we have a need a prayer need as well sister Lena Volkova but Oleg asked to uh, ask about her to me to mention her. She 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 has a fever, some sort, and uh, and Sister Yana, we're gonna pray for her as well. She has some sort of virus. We'll pray for them. We're thankful to you, Lord Jesus, that your movement in that pool. There's the pool of Bethesda. We weren't talking about that, but there's that pool of Siloam, which which is by interpretation sent. It is something greater, Lord. Oh, Father, that which was created through you, Lord, in us, we are so thankful to you that you had made something in us, maybe something unseen, but that precious, with which the eyes of understanding, we can see a revelation, we can see, we can read in between the lines. We can open those images and types. And this is hidden over there from many unbelievers. But this is open to believers. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. For all of those who are connected and streaming now in many different parts and regions. Different countries. But they all could gather there. Those believers who had received that second anointing. Through, through which their eyes were opened. They have found that pool of Siloam where is the sent one. Oh Lord. And that movement took place and that worship took place. And we told our Jesus that seven seal had found us and revealed itself to us. And now we don't just see that there was the there was a prophet. We see him. We see his wondrous works in the bride. In the beloved one. Thank you for this wonderful time. We committed, commit, commit this evening time to you for your glory so that you would be able to go through with that whirlwind so that we would be able to identify that which we had heard on here on this evening so that we would be able to speak that which would please you and you would and you would see that which is coming from the from the mouth of your beloved one and capture that thank you for this wonderful time and let that third pill be expressed more and more bring us more into that let, wash us through that let us that let us dive into that even more we thank you we thank you lord you are so wonderful you are so alive and you love removing that that cover from you for your children 
and bless all those prayers that that evening of prayers that praying hour when we can speak from our hearts to you when we can glorify you and be thankful and worship we commit this time into your hands in the name of lord jesus christ amen